What's up, Average Star fans? Welcome back to another video. And today is, well, as you can tell already, a slightly different one. Today I want to unbox, give you the full specs, show you the insides, the outsides, and everything to do with the Xiaomi 15 Pro. For whatever reason, I just can't get excited about it. However, it is a fantastic device with fantastic specs, and it looks pretty damn nice. So... Without further ado, let's go. Now, of course, there is no mistake here. I am deliberately putting two of the best phones of 2024, my phone of the year, the Vivo X200 Pro here, and the new flagship Huawei Mate 70 Pro Plus here. Of course, videos coming out on this one very soon. I mean, just look at that black and gold with the slightly textured design. It is, yeah, this is a stunner. And the cameras, well, let's just say this battle will be very close. But today is not about them. Today is about this, the Xiaomi 15 Pro. So first of all, when you buy the device, you will be presented with the usual Xiaomi black box. And with this being the Chinese version, you get absolutely everything you could ever want included in the box. Starting with the manuals and of course, a protective case. The one thing I love about Xiaomi is they include a premium silicone case. Not the clear TPU one that will go a bit yellow. This is a premium silicone case, which protects the edges. It's got buttons there as well. It's got space for your charging port, of course, and that huge square camera bump that we'll talk about soon. Also inside the box, you have your charger included. Now this is a Chinese wall wart, so you're going to need an adapter. But as you can see there, 90 watts of very fast charging with the USB-A to C cable included as well. Now this phone does have wireless charging as well, but we'll talk about the specs in a second. What I want to do though is talk through, as mentioned, everything about the phone, including the HyperOS software. So. Let me tidy this away and let's get chatting. Okay, so I've tidied up everything. I've cleared away the competitors, even though this one isn't really much competition in my opinion, but keep an open mind. First of all, the body. The body of the Xiaomi 15 Pro is, well, standard flagship nowadays. It's 8.7 millimeters thick with squared off edges and a flat panel display it's ip68 water and dust resistant up to 1.5 meters in a swimming pool for 30 minutes you're going to be absolutely fine now the display as mentioned is 6.78 inches with a 120 hertz super amoled ltpo panel 68 billion colors dolby vision support hdr10 plus all the regular just genius that comes with modern flagship displays. However, one thing you are getting with the Xiaomi 15 Pro is a super clear display. This is not Full HD or Full HD Plus. This is the Full Buna Quad HD display. 1440 by 3220, giving you 522 pixels per inch, which, unless I'm mistaken, is the highest resolution screen available on the market today. So well done Xiaomi for including this. I said at the start of the video I can't get excited for this. That's not a blanket statement for Xiaomi. I just know that in a couple of months I'm going to get the Xiaomi 15 Ultra. And that's the big boy. That's the one with the biggest specs, the most cameras, just jam-packed with everything inside it. That doesn't mean that the 15 Pro is not great. It's just not the 15 Ultra. Now, internally on this device, you have the latest Snapdragon Elite chip. You also have the latest software version of HyperOS skinned over Android 15. This is a 512 gigabyte version, UFS 4.0 storage, 16 gigabytes of DDR5X RAM. It's 
an absolute powerhouse and beast. The most flagship of flagships, SOCs, and in my opinion, HyperOS is a really nice skin. Doesn't get a lot of love, but as we're about to dig into, there's a lot you can do with HyperOS and a lot of cool features. And then shifting back to the hardware, we have to discuss those cameras. A triple camera setup, yes, it's only three, it's not four lenses, even though there's four oven hob cutouts. You have the wide angle, the ultra wide, and the five times telephoto zoom lens. Yes, on the latest 15 Pro, it is no longer a three times optical. You have access to a five times optical. And folks, let me tell you, the optical ranges on this and the 10x hybrid zoom is pretty damn fantastic as i'm showing you here the typical average dad bedroom shots from the window all the way from ultra wide to 100 times digital zoom very very impressive i think what gives me hope about this camera system for the 15 ultra is if this setup is so good and this is just the pro variant who knows how good the Ultra could be. And while I'm in the app, there is obviously a million different settings you can use when it comes to Xiaomi's photography. You can also use portrait modes with beauty modes. You can change your photographic styles. There's all your usual super macro. This is actually a tele macro lens as well. So you can get super close to your subjects using the ultra wide or the telephoto lens and of course as mentioned it's five times optical there's cinematic portrait video and obviously portrait mode for photos and the 32 megapixel selfie camera hello is fantastic as well video recording wise you are spoiled for choice you can have up to 8k 30 frames per second or my particular favorite 4k at 120 frames per second all can be changed in here there is dolby vision and dolby video included in here as well if you want to access that however that will limit your frames per second to 60 on the rear cameras for the selfie you can go all the way up to 60 frames per second on the selfie video mode and since we're here, we may as well test out the super high-res 24-bit speakers included in the Xiaomi 15 Pro. I'm expecting some pretty decent things, and this will be my first time listening to them. So we're listening along together. Let's hear, let's hear it out. So, yeah, pretty damn good. Bass was good. Clarity was actually really good. Nowadays, with flagship phones, I could sit here and say this is the best sounding speakers. I don't think it is. I think the Vivo speakers sound just as good. I've talked about how good the OnePlus Open are. But for me, the king is still the Asus ROG 9 Pro. I mean, the speakers on that are just insane. Now, in terms of other comms in here... It's obviously Wi-Fi with Wi-Fi 7 support. There's NFC, there's Bluetooth, there's an infrared port as well on here, which is not always common in most devices, unless you're a balls deep flossy fan. I'm not sure how many people actually use the infrared port, but hey, have fun. And then on the USB PC port, as mentioned, it's 90 watts wire charging, but it is a 3.2 type c port with otg meaning you can use xiaomi's proprietary desktop mode plugged directly into your phone on any display 
Now, before I dig into some of the software features, I do just want to touch on the battery. I mentioned already the 90 watts wire charging with the plug is included in the box, but this actually gives you 50 watts wireless charging and 10 watts reverse wireless charging. So just pop your headphones, enable it, and it will charge up your phone, some not your phone, somebody else's phone, headphones at 10 watts, which isn't too bad for reverse wireless charging. Now, in terms of colours and pricing, you can find it all on the Average Dad Tech store. I'll flash up an image here, but go ahead, visit the store right now during the whole month of December. There's 3% off for all customers. If you're a member through Buy Me A Coffee, you'll get an extra 2% off, meaning 5% off your whole order through the whole month of December, which I believe off the top of my head brings this half terabyte Xiaomi 15 Pro down to about £720, which is just a fantastic deal, keeping in mind all the specs I just showed you. Now, as promised, what I want to do is dig a little bit deeper into the software. The software of this is HyperOS. A lot of people ask me to show you the settings menus and dig into a few bits, so I will do that. However, remember, this is the Chinese version. While, as I've showed you already, Google Play Store, YouTube, everything works perfectly. Your Google Docs, calendars, contacts, everything syncs seamlessly. What you won't have in the settings menu, and I can just show you this now live, if we go to the connections page, what you won't have in here is Android Auto. Now you've got your OTG, you've got your NFC, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, mobile data, all that stuff, but there's no option for Android Auto. Historically, Xiaomi have allowed global ROM flashes. I am not sure if XDA or Xiaomi themselves have the bootloader unlocked yet for these, but there are ways around it to make this a global ROM. Just do your own research. We do not currently offer the global version of this phone on the Average Dad Tech Store. Unlike the OnePlus 13, which you can now get the global ROM flash through my store. So that's the connections we've talked about. Now let's look at some of the other features in here. What other exciting ones do we have? In terms of customization, you've got your home screen and lock screen settings. You can change your wallpapers, your always on display, notification settings. There really is, obviously, I always put my phones in dark mode and I increase the text size, but everything about HyperOS lets you customize it. Uh, and the sound and vision and haptics, and then there's privacy features. There is a second space feature on here as well. The biometrics on this device, like most Xiaomi devices, are always on point. As soon as you pop your pin on it, as soon as you pop your finger on it, the device is going to open. Now, I just wanted to bring in the Vivo here because finally on flagship phones, not just the Samsung S24 Ultra, we are getting ultrasonic fingerprint readers and what that means is at night time or any time it's not going to emit all that light and it's not using the under display light sensor to read your fingerprint it's sound so it's ultrasonic so you see there on the vivo how quick it was same way on the xiaomi the biometrics on here are fantastic fingerprint obviously face unlock works first time every time google and others could learn a lot from that but yeah i just wanted to show you that just like the vivo there is an ultrasonic under display fingerprint sensor. Oh, quick thought on that actually. The Huawei that I have lying around somewhere, here it is, does not have a fingerprint sensor on the screen, which is really odd. It's actually got one on the side of the device. So on the power button is where you unlock it. And I'm used to this for foldable phones but on a flagship candy bar phone, hmm, I'm not sure how I feel. Now, don't get me wrong, it works absolutely every time. But I think I prefer the under display one. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you prefer side mounted or under display? Now, one thing I almost forgot to tell you about regarding the battery is I've told you how fast it charges. I've told you how you can charge it. But did I also mention that it's 6100 milliamp hours? Yes. You thought the 6,000 milliamp hours on the X200 Pro, which good, was good, which it obviously is. Show me I've one-upped it by making an extra 100 milliamp hours. Now, in the cold, harsh light of day, that'll get you about five extra minutes if you're lucky. But 6,100 milliamp hours on a camera-focused flagship phone 
is, I've mentioned it before, just insane. This is a two-day phone. This is a two-day phone. And, spoiler, this is a two-day phone. But we'll talk about that one later. So, hardware, tick. Software, tick. HyperOS, Snapdragon Elite, triple camera setup. Let me know if you've enjoyed this style of video. You don't have to see my ugly mug all the time. I've tried to get a bit more in-depth. This is kind of a first impression slash one week later video. I will keep the same review format, obviously five categories. I'll come out with that next week. But let me know what you think. Do you like the look of the Xiaomi 15 Pro? I have to say this is probably my favourite colour variant. I can't stand that shiny silver mirror effect one. That just seems like a disaster for fingerprints. So, I'll be back soon with content on the Huawei Mate 70 Pro Plus. And, as an added bonus, I have two of these out just now. Average Dad Studios, or whatever I want to call it. I have one, and my colleague James has one. Now, he is a fairly new tech enthusiast, has never owned a Huawei device, so has no idea about the nuances of Micro-G and all the other cool stuff that Huawei give you. I say cool, sometimes annoying. So you'll get my perspective and a newbie's perspective of the Huawei device. I also have the Huawei Mate X6 coming in the next few days. If you like this kind of content, please smash subscribe. If you're not already, smash like. And until next time,